Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to bring you the first clean with me in the new house. Um, if you watched last week's video, you would have seen a tour of the new house. I'm actually filming this clean with me before I film the tour, because of course I have to get the house clean before I can do the tour. Um, so I'm gonna start upstairs today, um, mainly because there's less to do upstairs and also I can get the upstairs done and then put the baby down for a nap. So I'm just gonna start by showing you a look at what I'm dealing with to begin with. So I'm just gonna flip the camera around and we'll get started. All right, so I'm just gonna start with the master bedroom. Um, not too much going on in here, just some laundry that needs to be folded, bed needs to be made, a um, couple things picked up. If you watched last week's video, you'll see uh, what I plan on doing in this bedroom. Uh, if you did not watch last week's video, I will go ahead and link it here. So if you're interested to find out what our plans are for the house in the future, make sure you check out that video. The master bath is, again, not too bad. Our upstairs stays relatively clean. The master closet just has some laundry I need to focus on, and a little straightening up to do. All right, obviously I need to vacuum. I have multiple animals and no matter how often I vacuum, the floors just look terrible. Um, this is my oldest son's room. It is probably in the worst shape. The only thing I'm gonna do in here is pick up his dirty clothes because I am gonna do some laundry. And then when the baby takes his nap, Gabriel's gonna come up here and address this room himself. So you won't see any cleaning in this room, but I will show you what it looks like when we're done. All right, now for the boys' bathroom. Um, the only thing you're gonna see me doing here is the counters and the trash. Gabriel is responsible for his own toilet and cleaning, keeping the bathtub clean. This is our middle son's room. Um, again, it's not terrible. The boys have a playroom downstairs, so most of the mess stays downstairs. And then uh, the baby's room, um, of course, he's almost never in here unless he is sleeping, so there's really nothing to do in here except pick up the blanket and vacuum. In the laundry room, I will be doing some laundry uh, and Gabriel will have to get in here later and clean the litter boxes, which are housed in that little dresser thing. I don't know if the light's good enough for you to tell that that's a little plastic dresser. All right, so I am going to go ahead and get started. I'm actually probably gonna start in Caden's room, then Grayson's room and just kind of work my way towards the master bedroom. That way, once Caden is ready for a nap, his room will be done and I can get him, I can get him down to bed. So let's get started. We, we watch the sun go down over the same old town like so many times before we look at the same old stars battle the same old wars like so many times before and I know that we're not perfect So in Grayson's room, you'll see me start by making the bed. This is a Betty's bed set. Um, we have one for every single one of our children. Um, Grayson has two in his room because he has a trundle underneath his bed. Gabriel will have two in his room as well. He has a queen size bed with a twin trundle underneath. And Caden will eventually have one. Uh, we actually already have it for him. We just have to get his big boy bed ready for his room when his birthday comes around. Uh, right now I'm just cleaning the surfaces of Grayson's room with some Mrs. Meyers all-purpose spray. Um, that's pretty much what I use. I do use a couple different things in the kitchen, but as for the rest of the house, I use Mrs. Meyers, um, either the all-purpose cleaning spray or the, um, the windows and mirrors cleaner. So this is the new vacuum cleaner that I got when our old one broke. 
Um, it is the Dyson V15 Detect. Um, it does have another uh, vacuum head that you'll see when I clean the downstairs that actually has like a little laser light on it that when it's on it kind of illuminates all of the dust and dirt particles and just makes it really easy to see what you're actually vacuuming up um, and it makes it easier so that you don't miss any spots or anything. Just hold me closer, I'll be okay till the sun goes up, yeah, for a little moment. Just hold me closer. Now I'm moving into Gabriel's room and just picking up all his laundry. He'll come in here later on his own and finish cleaning the room. Um, you'll notice that I keep our towels separate since our towels are all white. I wash them uh, by themselves and I just soak them in some detergent and OxyClean before the wash. Um, that's that's been the easiest for us to help, you know, try to keep those whites pretty bright. So this bed set is one that I got from Amazon and we like it okay. I definitely think it's pretty. I love the way it looks when the bed is made. Um, our issue is that it is a little too lightweight for us, um, but we also don't want something too heavy because my husband um, does sleep hot. So if you have any recommendations on a white comforter for a king size bed, it needs to be something oversized because I want it to kind of hang down mostly to the floor. So if you have any recommendations, please leave a comment down below and let me know what those are. So as I'm cleaning the dresser, you'll notice that our cords from the TV are still showing. Uh, we do have a cord channel that my husband needs to install. I'm just waiting on him to find time to do that. Um, due to some things going on, the new um, new mortgage payment, raises in the price of daycare, we have found it best for my husband to actually stay home with the kids and he just kind of goes to work on the weekends. He is taking a break from school because of COVID, but he will hopefully be starting school back in August when all of the kids are back in school. Um, so him staying home just works out for us right now, but he's busy taking care of the kids all day, every day. So he just hasn't had time to pull that dresser out and get all that stuff installed into the wall. Right now I've moved into the boys bathroom trying to get it straightened up real quick. You'll see a couple things left on the counters. For the most part their bathroom doesn't get too bad. I try to make sure I remind Gabriel to go in there every day after his shower and pick up his dirty clothes. He likes to leave those laying on the floor. Um, so I try to just remind him to go in, pick those up, you know, pick up anything that's on the counters and then that way it's just easy for me to go behind them later on and wipe down the counters in the mirror. 
So for the most part, this is probably the worst that you'll ever see their bathroom. I wish I could go back to right before you told me I try to change it all. But look at us now, I could have gone so far. It hurts to realize we're parted. Yeah, look at us now, this is who we are. And I just know things will never be the same. We're like strangers again, again, again. Strangers again, again, again. We're like strangers again, again, again. I just know things will never be the same. We're like strangers again. tried much harder all we have are scars we said we'd get so high higher up than heaven we said we'd reach the stars but look at us now we could have gone so far it hurts to realize we're parted and yeah, look at us now this is who we are and i just know all right, so I do have most of the upstairs finished. Um, I do have to fold all this laundry, but since I'm mostly finished with the upstairs, I'm gonna go ahead, go grab my two-year-old, put him down for a nap, and then I'm probably going to go downstairs and clean while he's sleeping, and I'll hit this laundry later. So you may or may not see me folding the laundry in this video. We'll just see how things go and if Caden cooperates. So I'll be back. So leaving the kids downstairs while I cleaned upstairs was probably not the best idea. But oh well, we'll get this done. So just giving you a look. Um, there's a lot of chips on the floor. The table is a mess. Um, the kitchen is a mess. Um, a lot of this was not... Some of it was here, a lot of it was not when I uh, went upstairs. Living room's not too bad, it's just a couple things out of place. Um, yeah. So it looks like they were mostly in the playroom, the kitchen, and our office space. Um, so we're gonna get started. Uh, I have no idea where I wanna start. I guess I will just start in the living room and the kitchen, probably living room, kitchen, and then I would do the playroom and then the office. Um, the half bath down here is really not all that bad because um, I could show you. I'm not gonna really do anything over here. All of that stuff is stuff that I'm using to work on the house at the moment. Uh, you would have seen that in the last video. Some walls that are gonna be painted and stuff, but here's the half bath. Um, it's really, the sink needs to be wiped down and the trash needs to be taken out. Um, the toilet was just cleaned the other day, so it's not bad. Um, so I'm going to start living room and kitchen. And apparently my kids like to hide pediatures around the house. Are, um, it's not low. I can't adjust my camera. Um, so this pediasure, I don't know if any of you have any experience with this it is pediasure peptide it is super expensive um thank god my kids qualify for wick since kaden is disabled but this is actually for our four-year-old he had to have a tongue tie revision and um he had one when he was an infant it was not done correctly it ended up growing back and we realized it when he stopped gaining weight so from the ages of like Two and a half to four, he weighed the same. Um, so he's on those and they're expensive and they're all over my house all the time. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into all this mess. All right, before I get started, I actually um, just wanna point this out. You'll see this with me while I'm cleaning. Um, if I'm upstairs, you'll see it. If I'm downstairs, you'll see it. This is, I call it my go upstairs bucket. It's not really a bucket, but I call it a bucket. Um, so while I was upstairs, anything I found 
that needed to come downstairs, like trash or this little hammer thing. Um, that got put in here when I was done upstairs and I came downstairs, I, would, uh, I brought this with me. So now I'm gonna empty this out and then anything that I find down here that needs to go upstairs will be put in this basket. And I actually have another basket in the bathroom. Be right back. All right, so we did not want um, dirty clothes mixed in with the rest of the stuff in the go upstairs bucket. So one of these baskets from the mud room is actually for dirty laundry. Um, we have, we use rags a lot down here uh, for cleaning the baby after he eats or for cleaning up um, messes. We have a couple junk towels. Caden uh, likes to dump the dogs food and water bowl out. So we're constantly pulling out towels to clean that up. So this is our, basically our, down, our downstairs laundry basket and it just stays in the mud room. Um, when it's full, we'll take it upstairs and wash it with the laundry for the day. And then our go upstairs basket um, stays on the little bookshelf, a little cut out bookshelf in here. So you're gonna see this with laundry going in it and you're gonna see the go upstairs basket bucket with like just other stuff that needs to go upstairs. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, I have a couple clean things down here that need to be taken up. So clean laundry will get put in the white basket. Here we go. I'm not sure if I pointed this out previously or not, but if you look at our couch, you'll notice a like wood frame at the bottom. We did this with both of our couches, the one in here and the one that's in the playroom. And we just did it to keep things out from underneath the couch. With three kids and three cats, we were constantly finding stuff underneath the couches. Um, bottles, sippy cups, food, plates, you name it, we pulled it out from under our couch at some point. So I finally got sick of it and I told my husband, let's build a frame, put it around it, and it has been fantastic. We have not had to clean out anything from underneath the couch in months. We have not lost anything underneath the couch. Um, I, what I might do is go in in the future and stain that wood so that it matches the stuff in the house, um, like that tower beside it and stuff. Just did think we'd end up this way like strangers again. Like strangers again. Like strangers again. Oh, I know things will never be the same. Like strangers again. In a minute you'll see me cleaning the chair that Caden's seat sits in and it is terrible. No matter how many times we take that seat off and clean underneath it, it always looks like this every single time. Um, I am looking forward to the day that he does not make so much of a mess while he's eating. Um, right now we have these metal chairs which I love. They're super easy to clean. Um, we've had them for a while now. I think we might have one scratch on one of them but other than that they've held up really well. My plan is in the future. Once Caden is a little bit better about eating a little more neatly, I will eventually switch over to probably some black wooden chairs um, with maybe some smaller um, upholstered chairs on the ends for me and my husband. you got 
got something on your mind I'ma try to help you let it go You got, you got, you got something on your mind I'ma try to help you let it go
on moving into the playroom. We just have a cube shelf in here and I put all the toys in the bo in the boxes and then there's actually like a laundry hamper on the other side that is where I put some of the leftovers. I really need to go through these toys. We're getting ready to have a birthday party for Caden, so I know we're gonna get more toys. And there's just a lot of stuff in here that they don't play with, so I need to go through and purge and donate and just get rid of some toys before Caden's birthday, hopefully. That way, when his birthday comes around, we have plenty of space for any new toys that he might get. Um, so I might try to film that this weekend as I go through their toys and reorganize the toy room. So I have no clue what this was. I'm assuming it was probably some sort of food. Um, I know Kaden likes granola bars, so that might have been granola. Um, but this little toy was, it's like a little um, car shop thing that was actually left on the side of the road by one of our neighbors. And um, they said we could take it, so we took it and the kids have been loving it. So now I've moved into the office. Right now we have this like double desk, which I'll probably keep, but I would like to try to do something on the wall above the desk something to give it a little decor i'm thinking either floating shelves that go all the way across or maybe some sort of accent wall um, i was trying to convince my husband to do another black accent wall in here but he's not having it so now i have to figure out something that he'll be happy with because half of this space is his space as well Show you my intention. my brain gets blocked at times but now Somehow I'll give you my attention You've got to know that I I ain't a person who understands All the clockwork of our romance You make me feel so alive Always there in my mind But I just don't know I just don't know if I'll dance with the lights on If you're gonna Cause they're playing the best song I'll be there if you reach out to me Now that I am vacuuming the vinyl planks, you will see the vacuum head with the little laser on it. Um, it doesn't really show much on camera, but when you're looking at it as you're vacuuming, you really see all the fine little dust and dirt particles. Um, I don't really think it makes much difference other than that, but I do like it. It does kind of help me make sure that I'm hitting all those spots I need to hit as I'm vacuuming the hardwoods.
Now you'll see my youngest son, Caden. Um, you'll notice he has long hair, which we currently have pulled back into a ponytail. But now my husband wants me to do something to it because he unfortunately got mistaken for a little girl multiple times when we went to the restaurant the other day. So we are thinking about pulling the top half up like a little man bun and shaving the sides. So we'll see how that goes. I kind of just want to leave it and let it grow and see what it looks like because he also doesn't really like getting a haircut. But we'll see what happens in the future, see what my husband's able to convince me to do. By this point, I was completely worn down and had to sit down to finish the laundry. Um, I'm actually having a flare-up of a chronic illness, something that I was diagnosed with when I was 15 years old, called positional orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. Um, it's something I've been struggling with for the past few months now, um, probably over a year at this point. You may have noticed in some of my previous videos that as I'm talking, I sound like I'm out of breath. Um, that's part of it. I'm, my heart rate gets up so high, I, I struggle to breathe and have difficulty talking, but it's something that I just have to kind of push through for now. Um, I am trying to go to a specialist to have it checked out to make sure that everything's okay and that there's not something else going on with it. Um, but it has been a struggle to kind of, you know, keep the house clean and stay on top of things. Um, thankfully, my husband's pretty good about keeping the house mostly decent while he's home with the kids. So I really don't have too much to do when I get home. Um, and then, of course, if I'm having a really bad flare up, he just kind of takes care of the house for me. Um, it's just something really that I kind of prefer to do myself. Um, so now I'm just giving you a quick walkthrough of the house to let you see what it looks like. I am so thankful to be in this house. I'm so thankful that my kids have their own space and that they're in a nice quiet neighborhood where they don't have to hear gunshots every night. Um, my two youngest thankfully probably won't really remember the gunshots. Um, unfortunately, my oldest is 11 years old, so he has, you know, almost 11 years of memories of gunshots every single night. So it's definitely comforting to know that he's now in a house 
in a good neighborhood where we don't have to worry about that and he can go to sleep at night without being scared. So thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I greatly appreciate it. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel, uh, like this video, and maybe leave a comment down below to let me know you're here. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you again and have a good one. And that you miss me. It's all